What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Cold Nutrition, coming at you uh, with something a little different. Um, so you've seen me in the past do, you know, other stuff outside of, um, you know, your typical driving, you know, stuff or whatever, or doing stuff on my truck, this, that, and the other thing. Let's get a good look at the Hot Wheels, man. I have got a massive collection. Of Hot Wheels. Yeah, buddy. All right, anyways, just had to show you that. It's awesome. I've also got some over here. Um, so, <laughs> we're gonna do a video that is not very popular on the internet. Um, I spent a lot of time looking for something like this uh, on YouTube and really just couldn't find something that worked uh, for me. So, um, as some of y'all uh, had seen, I had a third monitor um, that I was trying to get working, right? Well, the problem is, uh, with every method that I had tried, the computer, the, the tower, or whatever, the software, was not recognizing it, right? Because I was really trying to go HDMI, uh, because your t obviously, because this is a TV screen, right? Let me just show y'all what I'm talking about. That right there is a screen that I actually found by the dumpster. Uh, one of my neighbors was throwing it, just throwing it in the trash. And I went out there, saw it by the curb and was like, dude, if this thing works, like I, <laughs> yeah, the, the remote was sitting next to it and that, and it was like, <laughs> plugged it in, it freaking worked. So, um, but anyway, so the deal was I was trying to go HDMI from the TV into the HDMI port that was on the back of my computer. So, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna... All right, so here we have uh, a beautiful kitty. <laughs> this is Sunny. And um, mm -hmm. we have the back side of the tower, right? I'm gonna not have my phone in the way. So, graphics card is right here, right? This is your graphics card. And up here, up here, don't mind the wire miss, sorry about it, uh, is your motherboard, right? This is the back side of your motherboard uh, that um, a lot of things are plugged into. Um, so, what I was trying to do, this freaking light would work. All right, I'm gonna not move this. So what I was trying to do is you can see right here, is the HDMI port for your motherboard, okay? I was trying to go HDMI from the computer, from, from the screen, from the TV into this, okay? But the problem is, is that whenever I plug everything in, it seemed like it would just work. I would go into my settings on my computer, which we can go here. I'll just do it for you real quick. Go into settings, go into system, and it would only show two right here. The third one was not here. So you'd go to detect, it would say that thing, whereas like don't detect it on a display. Um, and I, I mean, I tried everything. That's where I click in some of these up here, which was like, you know, setting up multiple monitors. It goes through uh, a couple of different instances that you can do there and whatever, it just wasn't working. Um, so then I tried, I was like, okay, one of the ways that uh, it would show as uh, recognizing it was through Bluetooth. Well, it, at least it was recognizing a TV that was plugged into the spare bedroom, which had Roku. Okay. Let's see. So the little Roku device that I have, which is somewhere. I think it's still back there. Yep. So this little guy, you can get these at, you know, pretty much any Walmart. Um, you know, it's it's like a little, it's like a fire stick, but for Roku. And I'm sure a fire stick would work as well, but it was recognizing that. So I was like, okay, what if I plugged that into the TV and streamed Bluetooth to it, and then it, re it recognized it as a TV, 
and then set that up as a display. It worked, all right? The only problem, which I'm sure uh, some of you computer guys are already uh, screaming in your head right now, is that it's Bluetooth, right? Um, so the, <laughs> and you can see, I don't know if you watch some of my streams, <laughs> You could see the delay, right? And I was talking about it, how like you would move your mouse and then like a minute later, the actual uh, cursor would move. Um, so the connection, even though it's right next to each other, was absolutely garbage. I mean, it's not even worth using at that point because it's more annoying and just, you know, there's other way. I, I was like, there's gotta be another way. So I unplugged it. Um, and then, so I tried, somebody had said to get a video capture card uh, which you can get from Walmart I'll put the uh, picture of it and then uh, I was like okay so what if I plug because you were allowed to go USB though it was a video card that went uh, HDMI to USB okay so on one side there's uh, an H it's kind of like this so so one side is HDMI okay so let's pretend this is HDMI and then this side that would plug into the computer was a USB. So I was like, okay, what if that works? Cause some, some way if this TV plugs into your computer, that'll work. No. So even though there is an option uh, here for you go to uh, devices, right? This is how I got, I would add Bluetooth. I go to wireless dock and then you'll see, see here's the actual disc that's the Roku that I just showed you. And here's another one that has a Roku attached to it. So you could click that and connect to it, right? Well, there is a USB option over here. So I was like, okay, well, I kept seeing that. I was like, well, what if I did that? Click it, this is all it says. Like literally I plugged it in, nothing would work. Like there's nothing that showed up here. There was nothing that showed up here with all the freaking, you know, dealies that I had. So I, I was just like, I was beat. I was running out of options. They were running out of ideas. And it was really just hurting me, you know, uh, inside. Cause I had this monitor that, or TV that essentially should be working and it wasn't. This is what I got. So I figured, okay, all the other ports on the back of this graphics card are called display ports, okay? It says it right below the little thing which I'm going to show you now. All right, so you can see right there that it says display port. And I noticed that one of these, which you can see this, this one right here is a display port type uh, cord. It's got a display port on one side and display port on the other, and it's for one of the monitors I got uh, with uh, one of the, the screens that I got when I repainted it. Um, so I was like, well, it looks like it has to be plugged in to the graphics card. Because it, if it sees it on the graphics card, it'll see it up there. But um, I, I didn't, I, you know, know it, you know, I'm kind of cheap, <laughs> a little bit, not so much, but a little bit. And I was like, I have tons, tons of these freaking HDMI cords. Like, where there's got to be something that I don't have to go out and buy an actual display port cord, right? Because this one, for some reason, there's only one HDMI port, so I was able to use this HDMI port, and I'm using it for one of my screens up there. But the other, the rest of these, this, this one, this one, this one, have to be display port. I was like, there's gotta be a device that takes HDMI to your display. Like, here it is. This right here, uh, brand is, I guess. <laughs> I, I think it's actually made by On, which is Walmart's like electrical whatever deal. But it's made by On, and you can get it at Walmart. It's $13, I think, or 12 something plus tax. And it takes HDMI on one side and trans uh, takes it to uh, the display port. So I had solved it. As soon as I did that, I went back up to here, went to out of here. You don't have to mess with this screen anymore. You just go to system, go to uh, display. And as soon as I went to display and turned on the TV, 
and it showed up immediately. Like you didn't even have to hit detect, nothing. Uh, it was, it showed up, so. So if anybody is looking for a way, because they have a TV or something that they want to use as a second screen, and you're trying to find out a way to make the TV work for a, as a screen, um, and that's your setup on the back of your graphics card, that's how you do it. And it's the only way, evidently, that you can do it, is by plugging it into the back of your graphics card, because plugging it into your motherboard does not work it doesn't recognize it that's unless you've got a, it's, evidently there's like a motherboard that actually has the capability to recognize like at the hdmi port but mine doesn't i wasn't gonna try to even mess with it because i just you know there's no reason for it right now i figured that if i just found something that would plug into the display port on the back of the graphics card that it would do it and boom so you can essentially if you've got an hdmi cable a tv that works and you go to walmart and you get this like $12, $13 part, it'll work. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, uh, like the video, comment on it if you uh, found it to be super useful or, or it helped you in any way. Um, <clears throat> and uh, if I have anything else that uh, works for me, I will be sure to post it. See y'all next time. Peace.